watching KMPH Fox 26. And now, the Valley's only primetime newscast. This is the KMPH 10 o'clock news. And nearly 100% of women have it, they say, but can never get rid of it. How to say goodbye to unsightly cellulite just in time for bathing suit season. Coming up on the 10 o'clock news, swimsuit season is upon us. So they say, think your body will never be ready. One secret to getting rid of cellulite. Still ahead, battling cellulite. Doctors explain what's causing that cottage cheese effect on the thighs. Despite all that diet and exercise, some of us just can't get rid of cellulite. Fox's Edie Hill found out what exactly causes it. Dimply, lumpy, and it looks like cottage cheese. More than 85% of women have cellulite, which can start after puberty. And the majority of women have no idea how they got it. And I've done a lot of things to try to avoid or prevent it from progressing. No matter how much exercise I get and how while I take care of myself, I still have cellulite. So I want you to know that this is what cellulite is, and it looks like this kind of lumpy and bumpy, like an orange peel. It occurs mostly in females, more than in males, and it's because women have estrogen and progesterone and the X chromosome. Dr. Jan Trokel explains that it's the main connective tissue, which holds fat, muscle, and skin together, that helps create cellulite. In a man, they're more like crisscrossed. And in a female, they're more horizontal, parallel like this. So what does that mean? That any time you have any type of pressure, the fat can poke through and give you that lumpy, bumpy look. But Dr. Patricia Wexler says you should also look to your family tree when pointing the blame. There's heredity where you see grandmother, mother, and child, but there's also a vascular component, there's an inflammatory component in the skin, so there's no one cause of cellulite. These top docs agree that there's more than one reason for this unsightly problem, and some culprits can actually increase your chances for dimply thighs. So I think, for example, like a sedentary lifestyle, uh, smoking is a really big one, uh, poor diet and nutrition, poor circulation, all of these compound and just exacerbate the problem. And size doesn't matter either. Everyone can get cellulite because you can see the skinniest actress and you're shocked when you see them in a bathing suit in St. Bart's and their legs are all dimpled. Check back next week when we show you how technology is helping women battle cellulite. Edie Hill, Fox News.